What's going on guys? My name is Zed and welcome to this video. Long time no see. I have been focusing a lot of my attention over on TikTok where I am growing a healthy following and just having a lot of fun making videos. But I could not let this trailer go by without reacting to it because today the very first trailer or a teaser trailer for Disney Pixar's Lightyear has just dropped. <laughs> when I tell you I screeched when this was announced at the Disney Investor Day meeting last year, I, I screeched. I was so like, what? What in the world? Uh, so let's get into this movie. I, it's starring Chris Evans as, as Buzz Lightyear. I, this trailer is going to be insane. In three... Two, one, light year. Okay, status. Booster, go. Do you think, go, Fido? Go. Guys, go, Fido. Cabin pressurization is underway. Yes, we oh, are here wow. for ignition. Flight recorders are on. T minus five. Four. <laughs> Twenty twenty two. Oh, it looks the blue, the blue boosters that are like on buzz. Yes. Wow. Is that? Bu He has hair. Never thought about what was underneath Buzz's hair cap. Oh, this song is fucking perfect. I'm trying to catch anything. That was such a fun little teaser trailer. Not much dialogue, besides at the very end there, from Buzz. Um, there's little things that I want to check out. Um, he's wearing a dog tag, and he's also wearing like a gray shirt when he's looking out the window. And I want to read what's on his dog tag, and I also want to see what his shirt reads. I think it's his property of... Uh, star command but it was a very very quick scene so let's go back and try and see what those read so right here on this photo we can see pretty clearly both of the things i wanted to check out i think that does say property of star command but we'll take a closer look at that later on in the trailer uh but the dog tags themselves just say light year buzz and then his blood type o positive so you know, he, he can give blood to anybody in the universe. Um, I would really be intrigued if that barcode is actually anything. A little Easter egg or something, I'm not entirely sure, but really cool. And of course, here's a closer look at that t-shirt. It does say property of. Um, and a bunch of numbers at the bottom, which again, I wonder if correlates to any other outside world Easter eggs or any of that sort of thing, but look at Buzz with hair, man. You know, like, we're so used to seeing Buzz look like the toy version with the purple hair cap on, and it's almost become just a part of him that you don't really realize or think about there actually being hair underneath. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of strange seeing Buzz with a full head of hair. Uh, so here are my, my kind of wonders about this trailer right you know so i heard if you ever heard of the pixar theory right the pixar theory states that every single pixar film takes place on a linear timeline uh starting with uh the good dinosaur and ending with monsters inc or brave depending on 
uh, how you calculate it. Because apparently the witch from Brave is actually Boo from Monsters, Inc. But she's tra traveled back in time trying to find Sully, but got stuck in the, in the Middle Ages. Very interesting stuff. And a lot of it actually kind of makes sense. And it's surprising how, like detailed it is uh but one of the um leading theories is that uh the buzz lightyear action figure is actually based off of a real astronaut called buzz lightyear buzz lightyear the world's greatest superhero now the world's greatest toy and that would make sense you know in, in an era of space travel um Kids' toys would kind of match that whole aesthetic, as you see in the original Toy Story movie, Cowboys moving out, Space Rangers moving in. Um, but here's my only dilemma. In Toy Story, we don't really see, or really, for that fact of the matter, in really none of the uh, Pixar movies do we see technology like this outside of WALL-E. So that theory is kind of busted in my opinion because there's a lot of advanced technology here that's being used. One thing I did like seeing, give me one second though. Here is the only representation of Buzz's ship I have, but obviously the packaging that Buzz Lightyear figure, figures come in are shaped like this, but I loved seeing a more stylized and realistic interpretation of Buzz's ship in this movie or in this trailer rather. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm sure these theorists out there that are piecing together the Pixar fear theory will find a way to include this in the movie, but it was interesting in my opinion. Um, another thing, will we see any references to outside movies or characters? Like for instance, will we hear or see anything about Emperor Zurg? Now, obviously, the toys are father and son, but is he going to be mentioned on a on like a I don't know in like in like a police station? Are they going to have like a picture of him in the background, or is he going to be in some type of international database? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, hell, maybe he's another one of the astronauts uh, that just turns throughout the movie. Uh, also, I would be very very shocked and surprised if we don't see a little green man just kind of wandering around in the background somewhere uh but also are we gonna see any of the characters or stories from buzz lightyear of star command in this movie i, I don't know is tim allen gonna make an appearance as like a little side character you go oh that's tim allen that's that's buzz light there's so much stuff that i <laughs> am like frothing at the mouth over like what are we gonna see what is this gonna be about How but that is all to say that i am super super excited for this movie tell me what you guys think in the comments down below and until next time guys i'll be talking when i talk to you peace